Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Train Fever with me, Lord Cucumber. Okay, so I had lessons from the sort of bits, which are really good and useful. And we are going to start over. <laughs> now, the cool thing is, I have unlocked the 1900s um, already. But we're going to go for medium difficulty, medium flatness, medium size, everything medium. Let's randomize this. That's Rab. That's better. Okay, well, I like black a black a black Rip. All right, we're gonna start in the um, 1850s just to show you guys that it's definitely possible. Mm. Now, one of the big things <coughs> in the current game is uh, that you can now um, do a lot of more upgrading. And I believe they're working on upgrading stations as well, so you don't have to break them down. Which is nice. Anyway, here we go. I like the little disco song there. There we go. Alright, and the tutorial, we can skip that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing, and this is pretty important, is check. We have two million in the bank, obviously. Uh, <coughs> is check where all the big stuff is. Let's see. Um... We'll start with the largest population. Garleston, apparently, is a city with a rather large population, which is right up here. Garleston. Can we have that list again, please? Yes. And uh, where's Kingsbridge in all of this? Oh, it's actually the third town. So if we were to build a real connection between Garleston and Kingsbridge, we'd have a nice start. Sidmouth. What about Sidmouth? Dead mouth is somewhere in the middle. Okay. Alright. That's cool. Alright, so um, that's something to keep in mind. Um, <coughs> let's see. Let's have a look at the industry. There's a little iron mine here. There's a steel mill here, which is nice. And there's also a coal mine here. So we could definitely start off by building some connections to the area here. Uh, let's look at the um, lay of the land here. Contour lines. Oh, that's pretty fucked up. Okay. Well, yeah. That's alright. But steel. Steel's nice. Steel can be used in a steel mill to make stuff. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a steel mill here just yet. Let's have a look at the uh, the cargo as well. Is there any cargo traveling around yet? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Well, what if we press the play button? No, none. That's great. So we won't have that much to do just yet. Okay, that's fine. This is forests, other forests. Do we have any sawmill anywhere. No, we don't. Alright, oh, cool. I guess we'll go for the train line first. Now the cool thing is, now that we have these contour things, we can actually see that um, it's going to be totally worth it building stations at the edge of town. And just have them go back and forth. And um, I guess what we'll be doing is a double double station. There we go. Uh, we'll start with a nice station over here. And somewhere at the edge of town. 80k. That sounds reasonable. I think might even do it over here. No, I can't. Okay. I'll do it over here. I think that's the best way to do it. 80k. There we go. So 80k over there. And 80k over here. I'll, I'll stick to double track right now. I think that's the best way to go for now. 170k. No, we'll need a little road here. We need to upgrade the road a little bit. Can we upgrade the road a little bit? Like, or down? Is that, what, what did I do? Oh God, I put tram tracks on it. Ha! <laughs> that was not the way I w intended it. But okay, you know, that's fine. There we go. We'll do this, and we'll do this. Pop, pop. It's a little bit expensive, but that's okay. That's fine. They can just upgrade it whenever they want. There. And I'll 
put it down. Oh wow, it's even more expensive because it's going uphill. Half a million, holy smokes. I don't want half a million paid for my station. That's ridiculous. I do want people to actually be able to take the train here. So, mm, eh, it's just frustrating how the game sometimes calculates these things. 125k. Alright. Acceptable. I will accept it. Alright. What I'm gonna go for is something like this. I'm just gonna follow the road. Train alignment collision. You little bastard. Ah, we can do it like this. There we go. Go somewhat like so. One hundred and twenty being the fastest possible speed. No, nope. there we go. Let's take it real easy. There we go. All right, are we any closer? Yeah, we are. We're actually quite close to where we need to go. That's nice. And why is that nice? Because I'll show you in a moment. The sort of bits that just he he taught me a little trick. I'm gonna be using that in a moment. It'll increase the amount of trains you can use at one particular time. There we go. Use the map contour and connect it. There we go. So about halfway down this uh, this track, you're going to be using a little trick uh, called splitting off. Gonna do that right now. How about that? There we go. We're gonna go like this. And then like that. Oop. Let's keep following the track, that's fine. And then and then connect it right up like this. There we go. And then we're gonna get get a one-way signal on the side, I guess. There we go. So trains are tre tend to go right instantly so what we need to do is make sure that they can go right there we go and we'll go right up here there we go so basically what this does is it makes it a one way um, well, what was going to do is make it a one day one way trip one way there we go it's set to one way there we go so now it's set to one way. You can only use one way to go. So there. There we go. It's a one way signal. So it's going to alternate these every single time. Which is what we want. Alright. I'm just going to extend the track a little bit. Like this. There we go. And have some, some sort of option to do this and then another option to do no, extend it a little bit longer and then do why can I not do that game okay there we go so we, we need to make sure that we can switch tracks at any given time that's, that's my goal no oh that's not possible because of the bend Now it's possible, so we need to just extend it a little bit further. And just a little, just a teeny tidbit. There we go, and we'll just do that. There we go. So we have uh, an option to switch track there. Great. That's really good. And now we need something of a... Um, a thing called... Oop, one of these. There we go. So now that we've got that, we now have a fully functional track bit thing going, which is cool. We can get some train action out. So let's get a, a train. Buy a train. We only have the Spanish Brottelbahn. Brottelbahn. Schnitzel. That's fine. We'll get one. And then we'll get... Um, 
Ah, well, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six of those. There we go. It's fine. It's a nice start. All right. Let's get a line set up. New line. Now I'm going to edit this line. We're not going to call it line one. We're going to call it the... Um, oh, man. There's a piece of... There's a little piece of crumb in my keyboard. Hold on. I hate that. There we go. Got rid of it. And we'll call it the... Uh, hold on. What's this called? The Kingsbridge Girlston 9. That's what we're going to call it. The King Girl 9. There we go. So now we know that it's going back and forth from... Kingsbridge Station, which is over here, that station, plop, to plop, there we go, so that's done, and then we're going to say, okay, go on to that line, set line, there we go, so that's going to go back and forth between these little towns, which will look totally cool. Um now what we'll be doing is I'm gonna make a nice figure eight tram track here. We'll do a little bit of tram tracking, I think. Tramway, yes. I'm just gonna go around town. I'm not going for buses, or rather uh, the, um, the the little oop, carts, because they only last 15 years. Carts with the little carriages, they're nice, but like I said, they do only last X amount of years, which kind of sucks. I really don't want that. I have to put tracks all over this. Okay. There we go. Okay. I guess what we need now is a little Tremorana. There we go. Tremorana. Tremorama. So that's where we're going to have those trams go back and forth. Now we need a vehicle thingy. The tram thingy. Over right, like, right next to it. the thing here. 2.6 is fine by me. Okay, Let's buy some trams. Uh, one, two, three, four will do, I guess, right now. And what we need now, no, hold on, is obviously stops. So let's get some stops in, shall we? And I guess we'll do it like this. Hmm. I'm really not sure how I should do this, but I'll just do something and say, okay, I'm going with this. Well, I'm going to have two lines that go sort of contra to each other. Oh, the music in this game. I just love it. And we'll go for that and this. There we go. I guess we're okay with that. Yeah, there. Okay. So we've got that. And all right, let's get a line built. Get a line build, uh, new line. All right, the first line is to start here. Then it goes to this particular one. Then it goes to this particular one. And over here. And I guess it's going to go right over here. 
and then back down here, and then down here, and then back down here, and down here, down here, and then back down there. So that's it. We're gonna add two, this one and this one to that line. Set line, there we go. Set line, there we go. Okay, so that's one. I add a new line. We'll start here, and then we'll head down here, I guess. Down here. And down here. Down here. And we'll cross, hopefully, down here. And we'll head down there. And did I make any one over any any uh, I don't think I did. Huh. Okay. But that's alright. And let's put these guys on that line. And there we go. This should make me some money. Alright, I need to pause the video for a second. Hold on. And I'm back. Okay, so that line has been fixed. Well, double line, really. It's not exactly a line. Let's see if we can do the same thing here in Kingsbridge. Now, I already see an interesting little thing here that we can still do. Uh, or, well, if the game allows me to do it, that is. It does. There we go. We can make a nice loop around, which is what we want. We want our tracks to loop around. I guess I'm just going to do one-way trams, I'm not sure. We certainly are going to make um, the tram stop, the big one, right here. But there we go. That's for sure. That's for darn sure. Alright, let's get some trams connected over yonder. Alright, there we go. I, I tend to go on the outer rim of towns when I do trams. Um, that has a very simple reason. Um, towns, the towns seem to grow in this game. Uh, rather they, they do. And when they do, um, you want to be on the other edge of town. That's going to be the center so, uh, in the future. So you're at the edge now you're going to be in the center in the future so that's the that's the reason there there we are so we got that uh, let's get some stops in shall we no we could we could make these stops um, like we did in the other town town might not be a bad plan we'll just do it like this Like this, like that, I guess. And there we go. A good roll now. Leisure area. Always people want to go to the leisure area, so. Alright. Here we are. So, we can make another counterclockwise clockwise construction. Which is going to be so cool. We're going to have that. There we go. That's the cheapest spots. Right there. Let's buy some trams. Three, four. Again, these last for 30 years. Notice the lifespan, which is better than the carriages. It's really what we want. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Let's make a new a couple of new lines. I'm not gonna name all of the lines. Only the train lines are pretty are important to name. Um, you can name all the lines, obviously, if you want to. Uh, let's add a station. Uh, 
edge station, this one. All right, we're gonna go, I guess we're gonna go clockwise first? I don't know. No, counterclockwise. I have just decided to go counterclockwise. There we are. Oh, the music in the game. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. I love it. There we are. Yeah. So the distances between stops are relatively good. Alright, and then they're gonna go back. So that's it. Let's see. You and you. They go on this line. There we go. Now let's make a new line again. That will make the other route. New line. It's sort of pink. It's pink. Pink is nice. Let's see. Um, where is that? Where is that stop? Did I make a stop here somewhere? I must have. Ah, oh, yeah, I did. See, I knew that. <laughs> right around the corner there. I hope I didn't miss one. I don't think I did. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Yep. We're good. Alright, you. You. Set line. Set line. Okay, so this should ensure that all of this is fed passengers. That's what we're going for. Let's see what happens when we press play. Flash to play. Ah, look at that. People actually want to use these trends. Beautiful. And we'll just go fast forward. Chugga, 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 chugga. Lots of people already waiting for the, uh, for the trams. Lots of people requesting transportation. We're gonna get it to you. Don't worry. Got some nice trams going on for you. There we go. Picking you up. Go! Costs a fair share, but then you've got something. Now, initially, we're going to not make a profit. I have to warn you, there's not going to be much profit in the in initial stages of the game. It really isn't. Are you going to take a tram or not? Oh, we actually do have five passengers. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, now you see that there's already some cargo going from these coal mines to the town or wherever. So we could go for some cargo. Ah, oh, we're actually making some income. Let's look at the lines and how they're doing. Okay. So... They're already turning a profit. A small profit, but a profit nonetheless. Only line 3 is not doing so hot. Okay. But, that's changing. That's changing. We're changing it right now. Okay, so that's going well. Yep, we're doing relatively okay. Soon people will start discovering that we actually have a station and figure out that it's a nice idea to go with a train. I hope. Hm. Else we're gonna have a bit of a problem. Why are you not moving? No path? The hell? How can you have no path? Is this because of the uh, one way?
that it? That was that the problem? That was the problem. I did that wrong. I don't know why I did that wrong, but I did. I'll have to fix that. It's gonna take the right path for the other one. No, it's gonna take the right path. So there is no problem with that line, as far as I could. There might actually be a problem with that line. Hmm. It's fascinating. Ah, people are waiting for the train. Good. Let's see if they, we can we can find out what the problem was. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just leave it that way. That's fine. Okay, so we're not <laughs> doing so hot on the lines yet. But that will change over time. We've got six people going on the train now. There we go. Yeah, yeah, slowly but surely. Ooh, there's a lot of people waiting there now. Eleven. That's nice. And people are actually building new houses here. They actually crammed houses in between most of our stuff. Cool. So that's working out. I like that. Good. We've got a good start. There we go, 22k out of that one. Starting to make money. Slowly but surely. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What about over here? No, there's still just six people here. Fifty-five dollars. Oh, at least our um, trams are paying for themselves. Look at that! Oh my, we did a nice one there. Holy schmoly. Okay, there's a lot of people waiting for the tram now. I hope we can all pick them up now. Probably not. And well, this is a nice start, isn't it? I think we did a nice job there. Trams. Yeah, we definitely got a lot of people waiting there. 19 now. How many can a train carry? 36, so about double that. That's good news. We still have a loan. That's a thing. Thirteen people now. Okay. More coming, apparently. Okay, so I think... Line 3 could use an extra tram. And line 1 could use an extra tram too, I think. I'm gonna try I'm sure how to do this. How many people are waiting for line 1? 10! So that's the, that's the thing. Buy trams. Set it to line 1. Set line, there we go. We're just gonna slowly invest. And what about over here? This is relatively well kept, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. How many 
many people is it carrying? 18. Again, half a half load. Half load of people. Okay. How many people are waiting? Holy crap, that's a lot. 23. That's good news for us. There we go. Let's get rid of some of this loan for a nice, nice, even start. Okay. We're doing relatively well. I like this. And this is a good distance. I mean, it's not too far. 19 people waiting. Two for line two. This line. Line two. Okay, good. Just uh, drop them right off. Bit of a storm going on outside. I might stop recording soon. <coughs> Alright, here we go. 23 people waiting. 22 now. That's 77k in people. And they all want transportation. Hmm? Line 1. Line 1 is the one that always gets the, the big cash, looks like. 19 people waiting here. I wonder which one gets the big cash injection. Once this train arrives. Here we are. Uh, let's see. Which one has like loads of people waiting? Line 4 actually. Okay, line 4 could use an extra set of uh, wheels soon as we can afford it. Holy crap, there's a lot of people waiting here. 21 waiting for line 1. Line 1 now picking them up. It's line 2. Okay. These are nice amounts. These are real nice amounts. Oh my god. Line 4 still needs this. Just badly. It needs it badly. 15 people waiting. Trying to transport all of them. But it's a bit of a thing. Okay. We're running a nice profit though, considering. Okay, now we have enough money. So, what we'll do now is buy a tram. There we are. And then we know that line 4 needs it. So, set line. There we go. So, there we are. Slowly but surely. Line 4 now getting all those extra passengers. People just decide to walk all of a sudden. Bastards. There we are. Alright. Well, there's no problem areas yet, so that's nice. Ideally, you want to have... Um, Trams that um, King Girl line is doing well. The trams that actually um, go every other minutes or so. I'll show you what I mean. Right now the frequency is 3 minutes to 5 minutes, which really isn't ideal. I think I'll just borrow back that uh, 100k. Get an extra tram in in each line. My trams. There we go. We'll put it on line two, I guess. There we go. All right. 
and get another tram like down here. It'll make money. Because the more we can transport, the more reliable we are. Go. Set it to line two, three, I think. Yep, there we go. The easier people are going to be with taking our train or our transportation. There we are. People are just building away with more townhouses, which is great for us. There we go. We're going to have lots of people getting up into the tram here. And hopefully the train will also yield some cash. Here it comes. It did. Nice. Ideally these people don't have to wait for a tram for that long. That would be the best situation. That would be the very best situation. Well, these lines, they take a long time, apparently. Three minutes is pretty long. People don't like that. They don't like that one bit. Okay, well that hit in did help increase our lines, effectiveness, just 16 people, it's not that popular on this end, that's a bit of a thing. Uh, what's the big problem, line 4 is the big problem, I need to make that as reliable as possible. Is the train coming in? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, lots of people getting into the uh, train station now. We've got a full train coming in. There we go. 104k in one go. We can get two more trams going. So we'll buy another tram on this end. And we'll buy one on the other end as well. Buy trams. Alright. Let's look at our line, shall we? Alright, let's look at our lines for a bit. Okay, so... Let's see... Line 1 apparently needs one. There we go, put it on line 1. We're gonna have a frequency worth waiting for. And what about over here? Line 4. S sort of. Alright, go. Now you can see the frequency has gone up to 148 seconds for one of them. Which is, uh, which is good. Ideally, we want to have a sort of a two-minute thing going on. And our train's coming in. Lots of people waiting here. 32. So basically, we're at the max of this particular train. 1854. We're four years in. k And we've got a full train heading back. That's nice. Line 1, still ridiculously popular here. Alright, that's cool. What about over here? Line 4 is actually... has the greater need. There we are. 
Not as much as line one on the other end though. Holy crap. 32 people. Okay. We're gonna get a nice profit from this. There we go. 113k. So we can get two more trams. And that's I'm gonna end the episode with that. Let's see. Line one and line two could use an extra trim. So let's buy one, two. Alright. So you need to go on line one. Set line. You need to go on line two. Set line. And that way we have ensured that there's gotta be lots of happy passengers. What's this? Is this line one or line two? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> We've got actually got 30 people waiting for the train there. Okay, and what about over here? New. 23 people waiting for line four. Okay, we might want to do something about that as well. We'll be able to. We will be able to. We've got full trains going now. Look at that. Oh my. And we're going to do that right now. That's the final thing in this video. Line 4 needs help. Badly. Set line 4. There we go. We'll pick everyone up. Everyone. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, we'll pick you up. There we go. We gotcha. Already half a train waiting, so... Nine one immensely popular now. All right, I'm gonna gonna leave it at that. As you can see, only five years in, and um, we are really profitable. I'm just gonna let it run until the end of the year. Maybe get rid of some of that loan, that ugly loan. Pay. There we go. And um, I'm gonna save it at December 31st for you guys and girls. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, this playthrough. Um, I'm gonna do some more later. Possibly start in the 1900s with a new scenario. If once this starts <laughs> boring, unless we get to the 1900s, obviously that's possible. We're we gonna get there before the end of the year. We are, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, it's a hundred k prison spread. Christmas present. Okay, 1856. And we're running into the station. And look at this. Kabam! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 110k. Alright, a nice... Uh, a nice point to stop the video. Thank you all for joining me. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.